wanted to do a short training on eSword. It's an app that is really beneficial for people who want to study the Bible and uh, go into a deeper understanding of the Word of God. Just go to uh, www.e-sword.net and click on Download eSword and uh, it will take you to uh, Downloads. And this is for uh, a personal computer. They also have eSword for iPad and iPhone. Then click on eSword here for download. It uh, does not have any viruses or pop-up ads. It's totally free. Click on Save File. Your computer will save the file to your desktop. It will take about a minute. I've owned this uh, app for several years. I didn't realize that it was updated about twice a year. The last update was on July 31st, 2014. And I just recently uploaded the latest version. And it's uh, just packed full of stuff I didn't realize well, it didn't have before in my older version that I had on my computer. Once it is downloaded fully, you can open it here. I have an icon for eSword. Double click. Anyway, it's broken down into four different sections. The first section is for Bibles right here. The second section is for commentaries here. The third section is for dictionaries, Bible dictionaries and concordances. Then over here is editors, where you can jot down your own personal notes, study notes, journal notes, topic notes. But what's really nice about this is you can download several different Bibles. I have uh, the American Standard Version, Britain's English Septuagint, which is a English translation of the Septuagint, which is what Jesus and the apostles used or read. I have uh, the Textus Receptus, which is what Tyndale translated into English. Uh, the King James Version. The King James Version with strong numbers. If you click on that, you see each word has the strongs and when you put your uh, pointer over it it will show the uh, definition of each word and then this is the Greek Old Testament Septuagint so you click on that and here because the Septuagint is just the Old Testament so we're on Acts over here the Bible books shows all the Bible books and the chapters, but the Septuagint didn't have the New Testament. But if you go up to like Psalms and 1, it'll show all the Greek. If you go over the Strong's Concordance, it will show the Greek meaning of the word. And uh, what's nice is you can go over here to Britain and click on that, and it will show. The English interpretation and then you can compare over here and you can get a comparison of all the different Bibles ASV the American Standard Version Brenton King James Version you can also uh, I go to the King James Version and look over here and wherever there's an I there's information so this is uh, the Believer's Bible Commentary. You click on that, and it will have the commentary for Chapter 1. Uh, here's Hawker, the poor man's commentary. Click on that. It will have commentary on uh, Psalm 1, verse 1. And same with Henry's and uh, Treasury of Scriptural Knowledge and Wesley's. You can download uh, different Bibles, commentaries, dictionaries by going up here to this download section, clicking on there. 
what I want is uh, dictionary. So I'll click on dictionary. And I would like the uh, Webster's Dictionary of American English, which is actually Webster's attempt to translate the King James version of the Bible's words into uh, the definitions in American English. So click on that and it will show the file here, Webster's Dictionary, and then click on download and start. And you see that the Webster's Dictionary is downloading into the app. After it's downloaded, you can get out of here or you can uh, look for something else. You can look up commentaries. Uh, there's all these different commentaries, popular commentary on the New Testament, Adam Clark's commentary, and these are all in the public domain. So they're f absolutely free. There are also commentaries that uh, you have to pay for. I, I basically stick with the public domain uh, literature. But after that, you, you can uh, close eSword and you see down here in the dictionaries webster doesn't show up but if you close it x out over here and then reopen it you'll see that web that webster's dictionary will show up in the dictionary section of uh, eSword. this is uh taking a little longer than i thought to so now we have webster's dictionary right here click on that well you probably need uh, so Webster's is showing up here but uh, because there's no I on Webster's there's an I on strong so you can click on that which stands for information and another thing is you can look up words here in search Bible so click on that and it will give you a search window and you can either enter a word or you can enter the strong's concordance number in here so suppose we look up blessed uh, so the hebrew h35 h 835 835 and then click on search and it shows everywhere where this Hebrew word is in the Bible in every uh, part of the, the Old Testament and then down here it shows you where all the verses and all the matches so it shows up 45 ma 45 times in the Old Testament it's just a uh, real valuable study helps when you're studying the Bible. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you.